Hello YouTube. This is Oppo Find 7A, not with Color OS, but with Cyanogen Mod version 11. You can actually see the version in here. Go down to the bottom and about phone. Here you got Cyanogen Mod version 725. It's a nightly build. I think the latest version is 727 right now, and we're on the 27th of July in 2014. You're actually getting Android in the latest version, which is version 444. In uh, Color OS, it's uh, version 4.3. You're getting a newer Android version. Yeah, well, if you're familiar with the uh, Cyanogen Mod, you'll know that it's a uh, stock Google but with more uh, possibilities to, to do the, some of the fun stuff. And the fun stuff is here on the personalization. You get the home screen. I actually installed the Google Now launcher so okay Google will work from wherever I am. And you can customize the lock screen, you can theme it, there are theme pack styles, icon fonts, wallpapers, lock screen, boot animation and sound packs. There's a lot of stuff there. Get the status power you can uh, customize in the notification uh, drawer and your, your gestures. The gestures on Cyanogen Mod is uh, when the phone is turned off. You can draw a circle to activate the camera. You can activate the music app or toggle it with two fingers down. Or you can uh, turn on or off the flash by light by drawing a B. Pretty, pretty neat, pretty neat. I can't show you that because I'm, I'm actually recording this with screencast and if I try to show something which uses uh, the camera or any th sound, uh, it'll actually screw up this recording. So, sorry about that. I installed the camera from OnePlus One and it's working just as fast and just as nice and neat as the uh, camera from stock color OS. The only thing missing is the 50 megapixel uh, shooting, but you get you get um, you get 120 frames per second video recording in slow motion in 720p, which is also pretty neat. Okay, in terms of uh, opening and uh, closing the phone. Uh, on ColorOS, you can double tap on the home button to close the phone. On Cyanogen Mod, you can double tap on the status bar, and it actually is something you can look here in the settings. If you look at the status bar down at the bottom, double tap to sleep, and you can double tap anywhere on the phone to wake the phone. So that's uh, that's a difference there. The phone is very very fast. Uh, the ROM itself, I think it's a 225 megabytes for Cyanogen mod when you download it and you need Google as well, which is about uh, 150 megabytes for a full Google Apps version and it's uh, roughly 375 megabytes. ColorOS uh, 1.2.4i is 825 megabytes, so it's under half the stuff you're actually getting installed. That's uh, that's that's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. So it's very very fast. Uh, I really really like it. Um, you got a lot of uh, free RAM. You actually got more free RAM than you do on Color OS if you go into settings and down to apps. You go over here for running apps. You can see they're around 600 megabyte free. It'll probably free some more now. So almost around 600 or 700 megabyte free, and that's uh, that's more free RAM that you get uh, on Color OS. So it's it's pretty good, pretty good, and uh, really, really, really. F Just when I installed it, I actually had some problem with the battery life because it's actually drained pretty fast. So the kernel went completely crazy, but rebooted the phone once and then it uh, disappeared i don't know what it was maybe the phone just needed to reboot to to, to work probably so i actually got this gsi monitor here and you can see right now the phone has been uh, off the chart for 11 hours and nine minutes and i used 45 percent of the juice on the battery and that's pretty pretty good so yeah well not bad at all so smooth, fast. I had one reboot, uh, had some reboots sometimes on ColorOS as well. So yeah, well, pretty good. 
I actually had uh, some trouble getting this rooted and installed this ROM because I was on the latest version of Color OS. I think it was 1.2.4.i. And uh, it wasn't that easy to root it. Actually, yeah, there's a lot of root, uh, but it was in uh, earlier versions, so it wasn't that easy. But uh, finally, I succeeded. And if you need any help, if you want to install Cyanogen Mod, you can just uh, ask me a question below here, and I'll uh, I'll try to help you. So yeah, well, there you have it. Pretty good, eh?